So Amazon made its own television. It's called the Fire TV Omni, and I have the 65 inch model right here. So let's take a look and see how well it games. Hey guys, Thunder E here, and welcome to another video and review on a brand new TV set. This is the Amazon Fire TV Omni, and this is the 65 inch model. I wanna give a shout out to our sponsor of this video, MediaTek, who we partner with to showcase some of the cool features of this TV. Now, MediaTek is the number one smart TV chip manufacturer, and they power over two billion smart TVs including this one, and they do a really good job in giving you, of course, uh, connectivity with Wi-Fi, as well as also just smooth uh, reliability for 4K video, as well as gaming features. So definitely check out the TVs that MediaTek actually supports, including the Amazon uh, Fire TV Omni. So let's get down to the basics of this TV set. Now, you're probably surprised and wondering, Amazon has a TV of its own. You're going, yes, they do. Now, they do have uh, the TVs that range from 43 inches all the way to 75. Now, the pricing also starts from $299 and goes all the way to $1,029, which is pretty cool. Now, in terms of uh, supporting codes and specs, all of them support Dolby Atmos, um, but in terms of Dolby Vision, that's only supported on the 65 and the 75 inch. Now, the uh, 43 to 55 uh, all have HDR10 and HLG. So, all those specs aside, what do we get with this TV? Now, this is a TV that takes the power of Alexa to the next level. Now, of course, we know we can use Alexa to control certain aspects of our TV, but with this though, since it's built in, it really takes over the use of having a remote control. Now, the remote itself is a standard Fire TV remote. Of course, you do have quick access to things like Disney+, Plus, Netflix, Hulu, as well as also Amazon Prime Video. Now, this remote works by using an IR capability, which is a bit of a bummer because it felt like 2012 was calling me back to say, hey, I want my IR blaster. I'm wondering why Amazon even included it in there because most TV remotes do support Bluetooth functionality and this TV actually has Bluetooth built into it. So it's kind of stunning. Now, the TV does come with four HDMI ports. Uh, they're all HDMI uh, 2.0, so you don't have those high or next-gen uh, gaming features. But of course, you do get 4K60 on this TV. Uh, and it does come with a third HDMI port that supports uh, eARC uh, 2.1. So you do have that sound bar pass-through. Now, as I mentioned, control with Alexa. I can talk about how it actually works and how you can use it to control different aspects of the TV as well as your home, but let me just show you in this clip. So let's start using Alexa's voice for the TV. Alexa, switch to Xbox. Okay. Alexa, switch to PlayStation. Alexa, set volume to 10. Alexa, change picture to dynamic. Alexa, go to Netflix. Alexa, open up Luna. Okay, so honestly, Alexa is pretty good when it comes to controlling your TV set and also controlling the things around the home. And I really like this implementation in the Fire TV Omni. It really works very, very well. So it's nice to know that I don't need my remote control. I can actually tell it to turn on and turn off my TV, which is great. Now, for those of you who are wondering, look, hey, can I switch it off? Is there a manual toggle? Yes, there is a manual switch to turn off Alexa, which is right below the Fire TV logo at the center of the TV. So you can toggle on and off and you will have a visual prompt in front of you on the TV telling, letting you know the mic is on or the mic is off. So that actually is pretty cool. Your next question is, how good is this TV? We know the Alexa functionality is great. What about the visuals? Well, 
Of course, as you know, we like the game and we put it to the test. And yes, it does not support 4K120, but honestly, um, Halo Infinite looked pretty good. Playing multiplayer, dying a lot, dying a lot as you can see, and dying so many times, it looked still pretty good. I like the way the TV functioned. Uh, I didn't notice any input lags or anything like that. So honestly, you can game well with this TV. You just won't get a lot of those, um, you know, high-end, uh, gaming features like VRR and so forth on with this. But while playing Halo Infinite and playing uh, um, Forza uh, Horizon 5, TV looked good. Also, the viewing angles were great, either uh, offset from the center of the TV. I thought I still kept a lot of that color volume there, so that was actually interesting and good to see uh, with this TV set. You also should note that the uh, Amazon Lunia app is also built into the TV, so you can use Alexa to switch to the app and go straight to start streaming games directly on there, which is a nice bonus. And you can connect your controller, either the, uh, the Luna controller or your Xbox controller if you want to, and you jump right into a gaming experience. It's really nice though using this TV, especially with voice. I think it, it allows for this ease, the easy use of jumping from show to show, app to app, or you just, you know, just your input ports. I really like that. Now, and finally, I would say the speakers, while they are okay, uh, you definitely would need a sound bar to you know, just amp up your viewing experience and enjoy listening well. I would suggest the uh, Sonos soundbar, honestly, because I think uh, Sonos does a really good job with the beam, and I think it's also powered by MediaTek. I could be wrong. But anyway, those are my thoughts on the Amazon Fire TV Omni. Uh, the 65 inch, it's priced at around $892. I'll have the price on screen. I think it's a solid TV set, but it does have uh, some things that uh, I will make some points off. And hopefully we do get a price drop on Black Friday, which I think would be an awesome pickup if we do. So if you have any thoughts, any questions, or you have the TV already, leave your thoughts down below. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy entertainment.